Now, this is very tough for me because mm-hmm. I was diagnosed at a young age for having a lazy tongue. You had a speech impediment, yeah. They said, you have a lazy tongue. I'm saying, that's rude, first of all. <laughs> it's not lazy. He's just tired. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I'm a 49er. A San Francisco 49er? No, the original um, gold miners of 1849. Oh. I'm, I'm there panning for gold. Panning for gold. Okay. And this here is Frank looking good, looking crisp. A little white t-shirt, green hat, shamrock. Why not? Yep. He's, he's feeling good. He, yeah. He's, he's in for a big weekend. <laughs> yeah. Um, how you guys doing? It is May twenty seventh, um, Friday. It is Friday, and mm. it is the start of Memorial Day weekend. Thank God it's Memorial Day weekend Friday. <laughs> it's Memorial Day weekend Friday, and um, yeah, uh, Memorial Day weekend is going to be on the Monday, but the weekend to it, it's a long weekend. Um, coincides with the beginning of summer. People, people call unofficial. it unofficial. Unofficial. Mm-hmm. It's not June twenty first. It is May twenty seventh. Yeah. Right, but. Not always May 27th, though, right? I think it's the last. No, it's always on a Monday, so it has to last change. Last May, and, last Monday in May, maybe? Let's call it that. Okay. Um, and, you know, people go to the beach, uh, people barbecue. Mm-hmm. Um, what else do people do? Well, I mean, if you don't, I, I think majority of people are not near a beach. You go to a water pool? Yeah. It, Parks and just pools think, maybe open. Think of the most generic things you do in the summer. Yeah. And it's like the first weekend you do all that. Right. So you'll go on a hike. You'll yeah. go on barbecuing. Biking. You'll kayaking. Bicy- bicy- uh, I was out, bicycling. I was out bicycling today <laughs> um, with my e-bike. Uh, talked to someone about it. They're like, oh, that's an e-bike? I said, yeah. But did they just like, is that an e-bike? No. Like- <laughs> no, it's because they're a dumb dog. Oh. I, I go on a big trail. And there was this woman, bless her heart. She was running with her dog, but I'm okay. I'm not like uh, there, there's bikers that are very angry, and maybe it comes from years of being calloused to pedestrians. But I'm not, so I'll like, give like a half-hearted like on your left. She had her headphones in. Dog uh, run it, would, r- with her. P- pick a lane, and I, I don't mean a physical lane, but that would be nice too. The right, but pick a lane in the sense of. I thought you said pickling. Pickling. <laughs> Pickling peppers. Pickling peppers. Pick a lane. Pick a lane. I like to wear my... I have uh, Apple AirPod Pros. Shout out. <laughs> Pause. Um, and one of the nice things about them is they have two modes. One's noise canceling, okay. which everyone knows noise canceling is. The other feature I like more because you it like opens a passage. So even though you're hearing music, it's letting air through. Oh. And if air is getting through, words can get through. So I can listen to the music and also hear car horns. Right, right. That's besides the point. What I'm going on to say is I like to wear headphones when I'm walking, when I'm on a bike. Some people frown upon it. When you're doing dishes and cooking. Yeah, all (laughs) of the above. I've seen that. Now, here's where my qualm starts. My qualm begins with when I have my headphones in, I need to double down on the uh the rules of the road as to like not i am not going to be jogging in zigzags while my headphones are in you're aware that you've now lowered some of your awareness yes. <laughs> yeah my, my awareness is lowered yeah so my 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 spatial awareness needs to be heightened okay so when she was running with her dog headphones in the dog was on the left and you know it was kind of to her and so I'm on your left on your left nothing's getting across as I'm passing, dog says, ooh, that's exciting, a bike. Runs basically to me. So no. I, I, I like slow down and put my foot down. No. And then she turns and she's very apologetic. And, and oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, it's fine. I'm apologizing too because that's just me. You need a horn. What? A horn? Uh, that'd be nice. A little like. No, like a trunk. A trunk. A trunk, <laughs> a trunk horn. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a train horn. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So I, I, I wasn't mad at her. I'm not one of these people that are yeah, like, yeah. Ah, learn how to run. But I was just thinking in my head, like, man, you have headphones and this is a bike trail. Right. Be aware. Yeah. You're lucky it was me. I know. And more than you're and lucky. And you're lucky because you could have went off the edge. No. And this could is why, this is what my, my qualm was have. about because I would, it, I, how do I put this? I am not going to get mad. Oh, I broke my ankle. 
oh, I broke my You're bike. You're not? No, I wouldn't be, you know me, I wouldn't be <laughs> mad. I'd be like, oh, I'm fine as I'm, oh as I'm hobbling back home. I don't want to hurt your dog, ma'am. Oh. Like that, that. You're so nice. Uh, yeah, no big deal. No, like that would like, don't ruin my day by yeah. breaking your dog's leg because he wants to sniff my yikes, bike spokes. Yikes, yeah, yeah, but you're right. But mm-hmm. anyway, I was like sort of at the end of the trail, I was turning around. And so I, like, so I go up another 100 feet, turn around, I'm texting my phone. And so she runs up, starts making conversation about the bike, and I'm like talking to her about it. But um, if you're out there listening. Missed um, connection. No. Oh, I thought you were talking to her. Oh, if you're out there listening, just keep the dog a little closer. No, like, keep, like maybe call me. No. <laughs> Don't call me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, you go out on your bikes. It's, uh, it's Memorial Day weekend. I was going to go down the, the beach. Were you? I was. Raining. Oh, up really? Here, yeah. Friday and Saturday. I know, but uh, last Sunday they said... Thunderstorms. La- what? Thunderstorms. Thunderstorms. Last Sunday they said it was going to rain, and, and I, I don't think it was any sort of... Yeah, but... The thing about it is it might not rain, mm-hmm. but if they have thunderstorms in the forecast, yeah. it's best case scenario, it's going to yeah, be overcasty and not a, not a, and yeah, cool. Not classic least. Last I wish it was last, I wish Memorial Day weekend la- was last week, which was we had a 90 degree dig day on Saturday. 90 degree day. 90 degree 90 degree the blue day. Um well well if you remember at the beginning of the year you wanted to celebrate every holiday after the holiday so you should do Memorial Day weekend next weekend and you'll get all those red, white and blue decorations and barbecue and you'll get everything for cheaper. Uh, I, but my thing about when I when I said let's celebrate holidays later, that was for more, more closed off holidays. Uh-huh. I think the point of Memorial Day weekend is everyone has off people. I know, but you could invite like if, if you had a barbecue right now, people would say, oh, I'm sorry. Like I, I'm already. No. <laughs> no because oh, it's, no, no, it's, no. it's a, we had a holidays <laughs> podcast it was a juneteenth podcast okay um it's a federal holiday so um, you're not oh right, right, you, right. so you're getting people yeah to, like the holidays that we're going to push back are mm. like christmas um valentine's day the things oh the, the, you really could um get things for cheaper and it doesn't matter like memorial day weekend needs to fall on a four-day weekend yeah um valentine's day doesn't need to fall on a random, oh, right. a random Wednesday okay, where you're at work. so you have this very well planned out. Yeah, I've been not thinking just about a it a thought. little. Uh, no, I've been thinking about it a little bit. Okay, to be honest, uh, you doing anything for Memorial Day weekend? I am doing so much that I can't even. If I started to list it, the podcast would be over. Oh, so. I'm just memorial, memorial. You know, there's also a certain aspect of Memorial Day, which is for soldiers that have died, died in battle. In battle. Right. No, that is right. Yes. Veterans Day is different. Mm-hmm. Veterans Day is for all of those who served. Yes. Memorial Day is for those who passed away fighting for the country. Yes. Um, beautiful. Thank you. <sighs> Justice for uh, Johnny. Justice for Johnny. Uh, his last day of the trials. Goes to the jury today. Goes to the jury. Now, by the time the podcast gets posted, there might be a um, decision. Uh, yeah. I'm hoping if it if my biggest thing about it, I'm, we're not going to get in. Actually, you know what? We can get into it because I feel like it, things are so like this almost doesn't even seem like a controversial issue anymore. I know. Um, but if it goes long, you're like the jury's in there thinking, They're debating thinking. each other. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess it's more complicated than that. Yeah. I was listening to a little bit of the closing trials, and it's like it's all you know how 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 court cases go it's all semantics yeah and so it's like if johnny right. ever did anything abusive it green lights all of her yeah exposés or right. whatever and so if the jury sees as like well he did do that one thing that like even though as um the people's court uh yeah. the, where we're all like she was wrong yeah technically if he did one little thing then so it gets it's a little confusing so it's a, yeah it is a little confusing but um there's lots of tiktoks and and little little quick little videos and and things and they don't really tell the whole story yeah. of what they've presented for seven weeks but also i mean just for, just for johnny depp himself yeah um you know obviously the uh his lawyers would say this regardless but i mean i do think it's true in this case this was never about money. Like, right. Johnny does not need 
it's Johnny, like he's my friend. He is. He's Johnny everybody's De- friend. <laughs> JD does not need any money. No. This is literally like you've tarnished my name in Hollywood. Yeah. So the nice thing is about this entire public case is who it doesn't really matter what the jury says. Oh, he won't get his millions of dollars. Right. I think Hollywood is all willing to st- more than just like, okay, we'll let you in. I think there, there's a, a certain aspect of going out of our way to bring him back. Right. And I'm saying bring him back as if I'm Hollywood, but in the sense of. They're, they won't be afraid to touch him. More than that's what I'm saying. I think it's, oh. I think it's even going to be more than not afraid to touch him to not let him be cast astray okay, because yeah. it's like, then you'd be legitimizing this behavior yeah i like it for um i don't like it it was a huge waste of time resources people like the jury um they're people and they all had things to do yeah. you know and they 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 were doing their um american citizen service yeah service to america by saying okay we'll listen to this and we'll give our opinion um but it, it was it's a fight between um somebody and their ex-wife yeah and like you said they don't need the money and it, it's just it was it was very long it was very expensive um and so forth but what i like what i do like about it and i don't i don't know what other goods or bads will come from it but i do think the good that will come from it is men feeling yes. comfortable to say i'm abused and it, it not being a stigma not not being um an embarrassment and um so even if they both did um, be unkind to each other, um, the one thing I heard the lawyer, the lawyer played Johnny's lawyer played today audio of of Amber speaking meanly, um, aggressively and violently to Johnny, and it was like okay, like what, how do you feel about this? But then she said, "Imagine if he said it." Yeah. And when you do, th- you know, it's like. I didn't hit you. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't a punch. I, it wasn't I, a punch. I, Stop my... being a baby. And it's like okay, and but then if you think if a man said that, it, he's immediately you know it's unacceptable. Yeah. Um. So I hope it doesn't. I hope it does equalize the, our sympathy for both so, anyone who has domestic violence. Yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah, this court case itself doesn't. You know, they're both going to yeah sit pretty in their penthouses, but. For men out, I mean, and for women, men, everyone who is unjust to see, like, oh, uh, to feel, like, insecure about right. reporting that right. you've been abused by a woman. And it's like Johnny Depp, like, right. millionaire, heart throb. Cool guy, rock and roll. Cool yeah, guy, right. Tough guy. Like, he was right. one of these, like, nerds of Hollywood. Like, right, no. He, 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 and to be like, well, he spoke out. And right. it's like. Maybe I could speak out. Yeah, and I hope they do because it it is it is not fair that um that that men get abused by women and then can cannot bring it forth because they feel embarrassed. Yeah, or, I agree. Or unbelieved. And you know, uh, I think there is also a train of thought of there like there that, that like oh well it's gone too far the one way for so long and now you're complaining. But I think we're all trying to progress together. And right. It's like, and obviously with the women empowerment movement is, is great and stuff. And we want everyone to become. No domestic violence. No domestic violence. But right now um, it is unequal yeah. that men men don't come forward. And the yeah. majority of men don't come forward because they feel that um, besides, besides being abused when that happened, they're now going to be abused for saying it. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the JD trial. Hopefully by next podcast we will be, um, yeah, knowing what, they could what the, finish today or they come back. The verdict Monday. is. Anyway, guys, it is Friday, and so besides being the first day of Memorial Day weekend, it is something a little bit more special. Well, a little bit more special <laughs> because that is it is it is Doctor Seuss Friday. Still is. We're still, still finding is. books. We're still finding books. Yeah. So you be so. <laughs> uh, there's some. There's some big ones that you know are just in the running for being told like uh cat in the hat we didn't do cat in the hat no what did we do that was for, that was rememberable um we did green eggs and ham did we yeah gosh i have a list somewhere and i yeah. keep, I keep uh, losing it. we haven't done like horton here's a who we didn't no is the grinch dr seuss yeah it is i haven't done the grinch 
We've yeah. been doing the obscure ones, which I like. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like... I have to find the list so we don't repeat. That's number one. Oh, we're, number how two... How would we repeat? I think we would... Re- our memories would be dogged. I didn't remember that we did Green Eggs and Him. Yeah, I did now. I was Sam I Am, I think. Well, yeah. No, yeah. I think more so we would forget the ones that we haven't done. But oh, I don't yeah. think we'd be able to forget the ones we have done. Um, And some of them are long. So it's yeah. like, should we be able to do that? And like today I looked up one. At one it was Hop on Pop. But I've it's, never heard it's, of it. It's, I have, but it's very... Very um, hop on pop. That very um, babyish. Uh, like Beyond babyish. One fish, two fish. No, that Worse? actually had sentences and a story. This was, it kind of just looked like vocab words for a very young reader. Oh. Not young, a very new reader. Let's say that. Speaking of not young, very young, new reader. Why do we do Dr. Seuss Friday? And you guys say this is a Christian podcast and you guys um, entertain and this is childish. No, it's not. Stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> no guys dr seuss friday the whole point is um we are a big fan of theodore geisel we are and um we think he's a very smart guy he author illustrator inspired children for uh almost a century you know yeah. and, and um Long and after his death in all of his books with his his fun creative language and his illustrations that are two children that are read by adults most time to the children um they have these deep meanings yeah and so we're going back you know, everyone remembers reading Dr. Seuss. Nobody really remembers what they read. And so we're reading it to our, with our adult brains and, and we're getting that meaning and, and using it as um, to navigate through life. Yeah. Uh, just Inspire like any, us. Just like any good speaker, you know, like you, you'll read books of, of smart people on, on self-help and all that. And it's all, you know, long form and you have to read a self-help book. Right. And you're sitting on your lunch break going page to page. But... Theodore Geisel was a was a, was an adult with a big brain, writing these yeah. messages, and it's like you can get them in these yeah. fun, compact bits. And we're gonna do that today. Now, so without f- you, you now you uh, uh, bef- in the be- in the beginning, you're like, oh, I don't want to read this. Or this is like, oh, this is aggravating me. But I think now that we've done, do you know how many? I don't even know. Uh, t- low twenties. Okay, so twenty one, twenty two. We've done so many books. I think it is time. For what? For you to try Fox and Socks. So we are reading Fox and Socks. The hardest. Really? Dr. Seuss book oh, man. to read. What was a hard one? Was that the circus one? I, I don't know, but you almost, get, you almost, you almost gave that, up. That, that, that almost, <laughs> almost caused me to 302 myself. Um, oh, wow. So this book, you this is a... I can't read this. Mm. This is a book you read aloud to find out just how smart your tongue is. The first time you read it, don't go fast. The fox is a tricky fox. He'll try to get your tongue in trouble. Now, this is very tough for me because mm. I was diagnosed at a young age for having a lazy tongue. You had a speech impediment, yeah. They said, you have a lazy tongue. I'm saying, that's rude, first of all. <laughs> it's not lazy. He's just tired. Oh, um, tired tongue. That's what they should call it. Tired tongue. And so... Um, this is scary. How smart your tongue is. Arr. I don't know. I, I <laughs> Take it slowly. This book is dangerous. Why is there warning signs on this? I believe in you. <clears throat> Can he do it? Can All he do right. it? Holy How sp- funny will this be? Holy Spirit, don't let me down. I almost don't want to read it slow. <clears throat> well, you can't. I'm an expert this is, now. This, yeah, you're an, an expert. expert. You know the cadence. And you know that some of the words aren't real words. So. I feel like Eminem before his rap yeah. battle on 8 Mile. They're looking in the mirror. Palms are sweaty. Needs weak arms are heavy. I'll go How make now, some brown spaghetti. Cow? How now, brown cow? <laughs> Peter Piper picked a pack of pickle peppers. I believe in you. Here we go. Okay. I feel like I'm about to get into a fight or something. No. A fight with the fox. No fights. That's today's <clears throat> um today's Instagram story poll. All right. Let's get it. Fox, socks, box, knocks. Knocks in box. Fox in socks. Knocks on fox. In socks in box. Socks on knocks and knocks in box. Fox in socks on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come. Chicks with blocks come. Chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look, sir. Look, sir. Mr. Knox, sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack. Then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks on bricks and blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks on box. 
Now we come to Tix and Toxer. Try to say this, Mr. Noxer. Clocks on Fox Tick. Clocks on Nox Talk. Six Sick Bricks Tick. Six Six Chick Talk. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir, mixed up with the chicks and tocks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks. Who socks? Su socks. Who sews those? Who sews whose socks? Su sews su socks. Who sees who sew? Who's new socks, sir? You see Sue so. Sue new socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Foxer. Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe Crow comes. Who sews crow's clothes? Sue sews crow's clothes. Slow Joe Crow sews whose clothes? Sue's clothes. Sue sews socks of fox in socks now. Slow Joe Crow sews knocks in box now. Sue sews rows on slow Joe Crow's clothes. Sue sews hose on slow Joe Crow's nose. Hose goes, rose grows, nose hose goes some. Crow's rose grows some. Mr. Fox, I hate this game, sir. This game makes my tongue quite lame, sir. Mr. Knox, sir, what a shame, sir. We'll find something new to do now. Here is lots of new blue goo now. now. New goo, blue goo, gooey, gooey, blue goo, new goo, gluey, gluey. Gooey goo for chewy chewing, that's what that goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If, sir, you, sir, choose to chew, sir. With the goo goose, chew, sir, do, sir. Mr. Fox, sir, I won't do it. I can't say it. I won't chew it. Very well, sir. Step this way. We'll find another game to play. Bim comes, Ben comes, Bin brings Ben broom, Ben brings Bim broom. Ben bends Bim's brooms, Bim bends Ben's broom, Bim bends Ben's bends, Ben's bent broom breaks, Bim's bent broom breaks. Ben's band, Bim's band, Big bands, Pig bands, Ben and Bim and Ben lead bands with brooms, Ben's band bangs and Bim's band brew booms. Pig band, boom band, big band, broom band. My poor mouth can't say that. No, sir, my poor mouth is much too slow, sir. Well, then, bring your mouth this way. I'll find something it can say. Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke Duck likes lakes. Luke Luck likes lakes. Licks lakes. Luke's duck licks lakes. Duck takes licks in lakes. Luke Luck likes Luke Luck takes licks in lakes ducks like. I can't blab such blibber blubber. My tongue isn't made of rubber. Mr. Knox, now come now, come now. You don't have to be so dumb now. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, please. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, Freezy Breeze blew. Freezy Breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy Trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. Stop it, stop it. That's enough, sir. I can't say such silly stuff, sir. Very well then, Mr. Knoxer. Let's have a little talk about Tweetle Beetles. What do you know about Tweetle Beetles? Well, when Tweetle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweetle Beetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweetle Beetle puddle battle. And when Tweetle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweetle Beetle puddle paddle battle. And when Beetles battle Beetles in a puddle paddle battle and the beetle battle puddle is a puddle in a bottle that they call this a tweedle beetle bottle puddle paddle battle muddle and when beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles and the bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles they call this a muddle puddle tweedle poodle beetle noodle bottle paddle battle and now wait a minute mr Sox fox when a fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle Bottled Paddled Muddled Duddled Fuddled Waddled Fox in Socks, sir. 
Fox in socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. That was... Now, is your tongue numb? How'd I do? Tongue's not lazy anymore. <laughs> Tongue's not lazy anymore. <laughs> Take that, you speech therapists. Now they did their job. Oh. Um, You did great. Thank you. I'm really um, very impressed. No big deal. You know, I have overcoming my fears on this podcast, as you know. Yeah. And uh, Fox and the Socks got nothing on me. <laughs> Fox and Socks. Um, that was, at first, I was thought it was just random. And I see there was a story there. Was there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was too busy not making well, a fool like, myself. Well, that's the thing. I, don't, I, I couldn't really find the story, but the Fox and Socks was the, the little... The little car culprit character who he's pulling this um the man around the, the yellow guy around the whole time and the, the yellow guy keeps saying I can't I, is he saying yeah, I can't say no. that so it, it, it's like they're playing a game where the fox is the the sly fox sly is fox. trying to get him to um mess his words up okay and so he's saying like oh no we're playing a game come over here all you got so all you got to say is this and then he's like. That's too much. My tongue okay. hurts. Right. And so then finally, the guy puts him in the bottle and says, how about that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Some spiritual significance, significance or real world significance. It, what it reminds me of. What's it remind you of? Is our know, Christian podcast here. It is. Um, Jesus in the desert with the devil. Oh, and good one. why I, I say that is because we talked about this before of like, the devil wasn't just um, saying things like, I'm the devil. I'll, right. I'll, here's what I can give you. He was turning biblical words against Jesus and saying, Word well, play. scripture says this here. And, and, like, right. and like tricking him, confusing him with his own words. And that what Jesus Trying was doing. To. Yeah. Mm. When Jesus kept saying, just go away. Like, right. I'm not playing your games. Oh, wow. I'm not, I'm not that playing, is a deep one there. I'm not playing connecting. your twister games of trying yeah. to get me to mess up because I'm uh, muddled, fuddled, buddled, duddled. What did the Bible say? And um, it was, I'm not playing your games. Get away from me. I love it. Yeah, that's on my little, my little, uh, I'm not even going to go. I'm not even going to try that. That's. Yeah. But fantastic. you know, I, I, I feel like you see the Fox in literature. Um, over and over, and it's always about being like sly tricky. And, and, and tricky, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's just trying to get you to slip up. Mm -hmm. And um, when someone's trying to do that, you know, you just put them in a bottle. Say, like, "I'm not playing this game with you. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not going to put yeah, you. That's really good. I'm not going to put you in a position to trick me. Crazy like a fox. You, they're crazy. You don't have to be crazy. Yep. But uh, get rid of it. Get rid of it. So that's that's a fun little thing. I mean, also just good for uh. Good for kids. Good for reading. Yeah, uh, absolutely. We talked about last time of the one fish, two fish of just the learn how to do words. And um, I, th I think things like this is just good for the brain. It's good for the brain. You know, it's, I say kids. I also say people who um, are learning to read as yeah. adults. But you know, it's also good for stroke. Um, people who, who are recovering from stroke. Oh, well, that's uh, that's the thing. Like, uh, you know what? Part of Dr. Seuss Friday is destigmatizing right. Dr. Seuss. Like. People love, you know, like, they'll get apps and stuff of, like, you know, brain twisters and yeah. stuff. And, you Exercise know, your brain. This little Dr. Seuss book, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a 26 year old college graduate. And, uh, <laughs> oh, no. Imagine because of the book, you've, you'll revert. My, my tongue like, <laughs> has built up strength and yeah. it's just shot out. Right, right. Um, and, you know, I was having a little trouble with it, yeah. but it's like, it keeps your mind going. And in what? We did it in five minutes. Yeah, right. And it's like, you know, people, you know, we've got big theater performance coming up or something. Uh, yeah. Are you the valedictorian? Graduation's yeah. here. Read Fox and Socks for it. Well, what's going to be hard after reading that? You know? Nothing. Wakes Nothing. you up. Wakes you up more than your coffee. Wakes you up in the morning. How about that? <laughs> but anyway, guys, have a safe and fun Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. um, if it, the nice weather's around you, uh, start up that barbecue. Invite me over. I do love barbecues. You, you love barbecues. I love barbecues. And you're not even like judgmental. Like you're like. No. You're happy with anything they have. I'm happy with anything. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Burn a hot dog and Burn bring hot them dog. over. Don't, even if you don't have hot I'll eat a veggie burger. Yeah, he will. I, I will. Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> he will. All right, guys. We'll be back on Wednesday. Um, yeah, have fun. Peace. Bye. Bye.